Hey guys, Cameron here, back to Breakfast Basics today and I'm gonna show you how to make poached eggs on toast. It's really simple and it's one of my favorite things to eat for breakfast. All we need today is we need a pot of water. I've got it on the stove here. And we don't want to bring that to a hard boil. We just want it to like nice and soft, ideally around 65 degrees. We need two eggs, fresh laid today, fresh baked bread, some butter, salt, and pepper. Now, first thing you want to do is you want to get your water stirring. And we just do this to move the water around so the eggs, when you crack it in, it doesn't stick to the bottom. They move around. And a good fresh egg will stay together and you won't get any stringy yolk. And then all we're doing with that is we're leaving it about two and a half minutes until the white's cooked and the, and the inside's still nice and soft. While we're waiting on that, I'm just gonna get some butter on this bread here, get it in the toaster, and that'll be ready in time. Now, I think everyone knows the best thing about eating poached eggs is like just cutting into it and just having that yolk just ooze out and just getting that yolk porn happening. And it's really important that you don't have the water too hot or overcook the eggs because what happens with eggs is once the yolk starts to coagulate, it doesn't stop. There's proteins in there that they start to thicken and once they've started thickening, removing the temperature, lowering the temperature won't stop it. It'll just keep going through till it's hard. Another really important thing is always make sure you drain the eggs. So when you're pulling the eggs out of the poaching pot, I like to have a nice dry chucks cloth on a plate there to drain them and never pull them out with one of these spoons, always one of these commonly referred to in the hospitality industry. This is a female spoon, this is a male spoon. I'll leave it up to you to figure out why. Just checking my eggs here, you can see, if you have a look, you can see that this is still, the white's still very jelly-like and it's not quite cooked through. Gonna leave that for about another minute. You'll notice when I put it in, I stirred the water around and that's to stop the egg from sticking to the bottom and cooking from the bottom, we don't want that. We don't want direct heat on the egg. We always want it to be cooked by the water around it, not from the heat at the base of the pan. You can always tell an egg that's cooked by the heat at the base of the pan because you'll see little bubbles in the egg whites. All right guys, so my eggs here, they're pretty well ready. They're floating at the top now. You can see here, the egg whites are whole. See the yolk there, it's still nice and soft. Pull them out. Get them on the chucks cloth. Just gonna dry them. Got this nice piece of toasted bread there. Just gonna duck down, get some butter. You can never have too much butter then the plating. So it's always important that you do have this chucks cloth and if you are cooking multiple eggs, you don't dry it. You, you've got to make sure it's dry, otherwise you're just going to end up with soupy crap and you're going to turn your bread into soggy bread, which nobody likes. Eggs on the bread, little bit of garnish, salt, pepper. This is it. This is what it's all about. We are just going to crack this. Slowly cut into that yolk. Oh. Have a look at that. Yolk porn. So that's how a poached egg should look. You can see the white's fully formed and the yolk is still nice and soft in the inside. That's what I look for for my customers when they're getting poached eggs on toast. 